Good morning everyone, Ziggy here from Ziggy Zag and today is our third day here in Japan and the time now it is 8.30 in the morning I know it is um, sort of a late start for us because yesterday was very tiring from all the walking, all the activities that we did and yeah that's why we are trying to recover it's a good thing that we kind of partially recovered still wanted to uh, sleep in but we gotta move because today we're gonna check out from our hotel but before we do that i would like to make a hotel tour for you guys so that you will have an idea with the whole hotel that we are staying now if you might want to consider it or not because it's a budget hotel so you can set your expectations Good morning guys, so I'm gonna go outside for you so we'll have an outside view of our hotel. So you can see that our hotel is situated at a very quiet part of the city and I'll flip the camera and show you the whole hotel itself. This is the Platte Hostel Keikyo Minoa Forest. So pretty small, I think five floors, six if you include the roof or the, yeah, the roof, which is their smoking area. So if you are a smoker, I think they have a, a place for you upstairs, which we will check out. It's actually really cold. I'm just having a, a hoodie. But yeah, this will do. They also have bicycles here. I'm not sure if it is for rent. Yeah, it is probably for rent. And yeah, this is the outside. Here's the door. And like I said, they have, um, they're very strict about no talking outside after 10 in the evening. Because they want to preserve the privacy. And now we're inside. They have free use of the umbrellas so you can use the ones with the yellow uh, stickers or the yellow tape there you go and yeah um, wait there's a smoking area I saw that there's a smoking area let me, let me check Please use smoking area on the rooftop, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So you have a curfew for your smoking, 10 p.m. only. <laughs> Back inside, so they have a um, elevator here. And I'll flip the camera and show you what's inside. There you go. So we'll go in. It's the reception area. Once you check out, key box here, you can leave your express checkout. There you go. And breakfast, you can order as well, which is um, you order a day before. Bar time is here. Okay, moving on. This is the bar area. Wait, let's go here first so you can cook. Food if you if you have food and here are some seasoning you can use also uh, pans plates spoons um, mugs cups these are also free to use as long as you after using the dishes you wash them and put them back here all right so there's um, wipes for the table this one and wiping for the dishes is the blue one. They also have a refrigerator right here. You can store your items. There you go. See? 
It's free, this one. There's even free stuff that you can use. Seasoning. And, uh, yeah, other stuff. That's probably their own stuff. So here they have a microwave. And moving on to here. So you can use those, but you cannot bring it to your room. Washing dishes. There's free drink. There's coffee here. So there's coffee, instant coffee. There's tea. And there is even organic instant coffee. And if you want uh, this uh, this type of coffee, um, it's for a fee of 100 yen with milk 150 and this one let's see oh, I'm not sure yeah this is the reason why you cannot take the dishes to your room because they have limited number and they even have toasted sandwich and waffle maker over here so if before you do make it you ask the staff so there's this one and then there's the bread toaster here are some condiments and on to here they even have board games right here pretty clean as well and I like the color that they use uh, in the hotel and yeah some more stuff I mean yeah. soccer game coloring cards and welcome to Japan and they have a map here of the area. There's restaurants nearby. And these, the Japanese. There's vegan cafe nearby. These are the tables that they have here. By the way, it's nice and nice temperature inside compared to the cold weather outside so nice to hang out here but we didn't have time but I could feel it's nice co nice and cozy so moving on they even have books here slam down hey. several choices nice that's a whole library so this is a public place they have um, an, uh, some information on the first floor oh, there's also guest rooms here over there and over there so you can also make noise here mm -mm -mm. Here, it's just display, and that was it for the first floor or the ground floor here in Black Hostel. Now our room is at 203 at the second floor. We'll use the stairs to go up. So I can show you. So I can oh. they have a social media page. They have 
there, Manoa Forest. And you are on Instagram. So yeah, going back up, they have their washroom. I mean, washing machine room where you can wash your clothes. So I checked this out last night. So the dryer is for 100 yen coin over there. And the washer is at 200 yen. They have instructions, instructions how to use it. And there's a window here. Outside, and oh, cute. That's the outside. And I'll show you our um, room floor. feature out when you flush this is my first time seeing an actual um, toilet bowl with this kind of setup that once you flush check it out so see when, when you're done with your thing doing number two even one when you flush it You have a uh, water tank, so you can wash your hands doing that. How cool and efficient is that? Cool Japan. Pretty nice. And uh, yeah, uh, it's a shared bathroom, and here is the sink. So, so there's two. There are freehand soap. And there's also a hair dryer here. And we move on to the bathroom. So only one bathroom. Turn the lights. There you go. And so this is the bathroom guys. They got free shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. It smells really good. I like it little mirror there, hot and cold water, very nice and uh, clean, all you really need. So that was the shared bathroom here in our hotel. From here at the second floor, I haven't been upstairs, but I'm going to show the smoking area for you guys so that you'll have an idea. We'll both have an idea on what to expect at the uh, smoking area. So I'll use the lift this time. Moving up to the fifth floor. Let's go. By the way, if you if you're thinking of there are you can see there are bathrooms at each floor. You can only use your part, your bathroom on your floor. So we are now here at the fifth floor. So similar setup: stairs here, and there are rooms there. Looks pretty similar. By the way, on our floor, the second floor, there are only six rooms. 
so from 201 to 206 now we check out the smoking area okay there we go there we go Smoking is allowed outdoor space, not here. So we are still enclosed. See, pretty um, look. The roofing is pretty low, ceiling is pretty low. And, uh, okay, let's go outside. I'll flip the camera. We'll both see what's beyond this door. Hey, oh, here you go. Hey. It is my first time here, guys. Both our first time. All right. Hello, good morning, Japan. Whew. Uh, ashtray here. So I'm still in my <laughs> slippers. The wind is blowing really cold. And guys, I noticed that there's even a hanger here. I don't know if you can use those to dry your clothes, but it's there. Ew, just behind the air conditioning where it blows hot it's air. Hey, street over there. And yeah, I guess I'll finish this video. I'll make it as its own video for the whole hotel itself and thank you for watching this video and i hope this will give you a an option a budget option for you here in japan this is only 390 meters walking distance from the minoa station and hopefully it will help you decide on the options for the hotel accommodations because we all know that here in japan it is expensive for the accommodations and sometimes really small considering the amount or value that you pay for but here so far the room size it is okay very okay like we have a small table we have our own bed. I mean, yeah, you're supposed to have them. We have a table, fairly decent amount of space, although it's a shared bathroom, but hey, it's a budget hotel. If you're gonna ask me if it was worth it, value for money, definitely. Uh, by the way, guys, it's only two stars. So if you do have the budget, I would suggest you go nearer to Tokyo Station because that's where all the action is if you are here in Tokyo. But since in our case, we are on a budget, that's why we settled for a bit farther that we have to travel to Tokyo Station if we have to go there. So it's at least around 30 minutes by train and walking, a combination of walking and train. I hope this helps and thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video do me a favor and click the like button share this video out there leave a comment and please consider subscribing to my channel don't forget to click the notification bell to get updates whenever i post new videos guys it really helps a lot if you do subscribe to my channel your favorite youtuber will appreciate it as much as i do and remember life is not a straight line but a zigzag sometimes you're up sometimes you're down but always keep moving forward